So enough of those political videos. Check this out. We've got ourselves a CV uh, Trapper Lock from Case. And I picked up one of these after my, I did that video, remember, on the Chinese knives. And they had something like this and uh, they just didn't help hold up. The first test I did, I uh, did the old uh, uh, cloth test and it immediately broke on me. So when I ordered one of these cases, I wanted to actually compare it with the Chinese made one. And I've got to tell you, you cannot compare it at all. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm extremely impressed. It's got a little bit of a gap um, in the back. You can see some light through it, but nothing big. Um, other than that, beautiful. Uh, seamless connection between the bone and your uh, nickel steel bolsters on both sides. Just a really beautiful knife. And it works really nice and smooth. Just beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Uh, the blade grind, uh, a little on the uneven side, a little nick actually up towards the front. Um, you know, if I didn't know how to sharpen a knife, that'd probably upset me, uh, but it's nothing that, you know, after I use the knife, it's, it's you know, it came, you know, razor sharp, I'll use what I have, and when I resharpen it, I'll just fix that mistake that the uh, case sharpener did. Um, you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it right on the tip. You can see how that's uh, right on the tip. You can see how it's almost a nick right off it, like you left it on the uh, wheel a little bit too long. The other side's absolutely perfect. From what I can see, he missed the tip, though, on that one. Um, but other than that, uh, perfect. The Chinese knives, the grinds on all them are absolutely perfect, completely even. I guess they do it by machine, not by hand. Uh, but the rest of the knife was total garbage. This one, I'm just really impressed. The shield, you got no glue oozing out of it. Um, it really looks like Case has really stepped up their QA, and I'm really impressed. Um, really beautiful fit of all this. If you can look in there, they're not polished, but the back, it's not even a back spring, I'll say, but the back plate on this is really nice and smooth almost looks like it has a sandblast finish to it and it's just really nice I love it I love the adjustment on this this knife definitely is hand fitted and uh, made really well I'm very very impressed Case you did a really great job on this this is chrome va chrome batting this is a CV blade excuse me whatever and it's a uh, high carbon steel it's, it's the old steel and you can really get these things razor sharp the only thing is if you're going to work around salt water and all that it's not a stainless steel blade i'm not a real fan of the stainless steel blades i really like the old steel i oil my knives i take care of them and i use them all the time if you use your knife a lot and you're really looking for an edc something you're not going to throw in your tackle box and forget about you cannot go wrong with with the case CV blades. I've got a few knives um, from case and they do get a really nice gray patina to them. That's really cool. Um, look at that. I would say it's like a, it's a saber ground, you, you know, saber grind on this thing. Just really beautiful. Really nice and thick. Check it out when it's closed. Just really cool. So Case, you did a winner here. I picked this one up for $57 off the bay, eBay. You know, I wouldn't be paying $100 for something like this. But I would say $50, $55, $60. $50, this is a bargain you cannot uh, pass up. They do have ones with the pocket clips on them. All right, I'm not a pocket clip kind of guy. I was looking for a back pocket knife. This knife goes right in my left, uh, right hand, my left hand pocket. Excuse me can't tell right from left when I'm on film right and uh, this goes right in my back pocket and I don't even feel it back there uh, no you throw it back there it's a back pocket knife and uh, hey it's really cool look at this it's gonna get nice pocket worn to it just these beautiful red scales on it and I'll keep my mouth shut you guys can just look at it help with that
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, take care. Later.